Alrighty guys, so to, today we are learning about robotic arms to coincide with our firefighter lesson. So we have um, number one, what's up number one? We have him looking at a diagram, so he is going to tell us how the parts of the robot are comparable to our own body parts. So let's get this party started. So why don't you go ahead and tell me one through four what your guess is for the robotic arm. Where so, is the... Um, Number one is what? So I'm guessing number one is the elbow. Okay, and, and that's this piece right here. He's saying that's the elbow. I'm saying number two is the wrist right okay. here. Wrist right there. And number three is the shoulder. Okay, that makes sense. Shoulder, because off of your shoulder comes your arm, and you do have an elbow and a wrist, so that makes sense. And then I think... Four is the waist. Okay, and then down there he thinks is the waist. So let's check it in. You are correct. Good job, man. Yeah, baby. So now we are going to build a robotic arm. So why don't you show us the supplies we need for our activity today? Today we're going to need some styrofoam, scissors, toothpicks, tape, plastic cup, two patterns. Black marker, some cardboard, two pipe cleaners, and two craft crafting sticks. We also recommend the toddler get off my table. Yes, get down, please. Thank you. So while he's sticking that through, one of the things that I did note um, in doing this review is that it says on the pattern you will see a dot to connect um, to draw a poke a hole through with a sharp pencil. And there is no dots on these patterns. We have zoomed in. I've even printed it out um, more than once. And I do not see that dot. So we created our own. Um, that's not a big issue. But just be mindful of that if you do decide to conduct this activity. This is my robotic arm. Mm -hmm. And so... Show me how you can move it. So we just oh, grab this that. part of the tooth, toothpick and just move it up and down. You like it? Yes. Good job, man. Good job. Mm -hmm. 